Oh my, what am I up to now? All right, well, um, I wasn't going to do this video, but I decided that there's just not any good videos on YouTube that really address the entire problem. Right there, where that hole is, is where the oil filter adapter goes. There are two oil cooler lines that plug in from the side there, and then my oil filter comes out uh, horizontally. Now this is on an 89 Chevy K1500 four-wheel drive. There's a lot of GM trucks that use this with different engine configurations. This happens to be a 5.7. You could uh, have this in the 5 liter, uh, even the 4.3. So the problem is that the gasket that goes right there in that hole uh, fails over time and it starts leaking. Uh, you can also get, which is very common, a leak at the oil cooler lines. They're just a plastic push lock fitting, which is a horrible design. But uh, needless to say, mine was not leaking there. It was leaking at the gasket. So I pulled everything out and I'm going to show you what I'm going to do and how to fix this permanently. Real quick, I'm going to give you a shot. Uh, the oil cooler lines snake uh, the side of the engine, move around and uh, plug into the oil cooler that's on the side of the radiator or integral with the radiator. Now here are the oil cooler lines in their relative position. Both of these would uh, attach to the radiator as I showed you. I just have them capped because I was uh, had them in the trunk of the car. There is a rubber line. This one happens to be fabric covered. These are actually AC Delco lines. And then there's the uh, ends here, which have the plastic push fittings. And the lines go into each of these fittings here. This right here is the um, surface where the gasket would go and that went up to the block and then right here is where the oil filter comes out. Now first problem when you go online and you go to buy the replacement gaskets uh, please don't use anything but AC Delco. Okay the Dorman ones leak. Okay so you go on there and you look up put it in your engine everywhere will tell you that this is the gasket set. Well, obviously, clearly, you can see it's not. All right, this is for a 4.3 liter. It has a completely different part number. But every parts um, resource you go to online shows that part number for the 5 liter and 5.7. That is not the correct part number. That is the correct gasket. See the size difference? Okay. This round gasket is metal with fiber. It fits right here. I know that even though this isn't uh, completely metalized here, that is the correct gasket. And then the O-ring fits in the O-ring channel right here. So you can see the difference. That is the part number that fits the V8 engines, the 5 liter and the 5 sevens. Okay, so that addresses that part. Uh, the other problem is that you will either get a leak here at these push lock fittings, which are horrible, or you'll get a leak at the crimps. So what a lot of people do is they'll pull the hose off and they'll fix this and they'll go get new hoses. Well, most of the hoses out there are Dorman hoses and they're not worth spit. Okay, I wouldn't even put them in here. Um, if you can find the AC Delco hoses, you're better off, but it's still you're going to be plagued with a poor design. This side is fine, but this side is not. So what's the solution? Well, the solution, I'm going to reuse my hard lines and cutting this out right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some this is transmission cooler fitting. These are Dash 8AN 
um, fittings and that's going to replace this. Now obviously it's a little longer so I'm going to have to cut a little more out to get the overall length the same but I've got two of them and I've got a lot of AN fittings. For instance this one right here uh, these just screw out. We'll put the Blue Monster Teflon tape on here. And this is the 3 8 NPT 2, that is uh, dash 8 AN, and that'll just screw in there. So what's going to happen is, I'm going to cut the end of this tube off right here. And I'm going to use a fitting that's a dash 8 AN female, which will be able to hook to the pipe here. So this will never leak. Then I'll cut this, both of these lines, put these fittings in, and we'll keep moving on. I'm not going to do anything to these. I'm leaving this side the same. So um, this is not really going to be a how-to because it's just too frustrating to try to hold the camera and do all this underneath the truck. But I will show you guys um, each section that I do and um, give you a progress report. So again, first thing I'm going to do is I'm getting rid of these. We don't need those anymore. And I'm going to use the Blue Monster tape, install both of these fittings, and I'll be right back. All right, I've got our fittings on now. Next, I'm going to be cleaning this line up a little bit. And then these are the uh, plastic push type connectors that we're eliminating. So I'm gonna cut the line right there and then I'll show you um, the fitting that we're gonna be installing on there. All right, so I got the uh, O-ring and I took a little bit of grease and put on the underside of where the gasket touches the aluminum to hold it in place because it's quite difficult to get this up in position so uh, unfortunately I won't be able to show you because uh, I need about five hands to do this but I've already got the bolts ready and uh, I'll, sh I'll show you what it looks like when I'm done all right guys so I had a little change of plans um, with this and I'm gonna explain why so I went ahead and got the oil filter adapter bolted up and I've, I've run this about 20 minutes and as you can see there's absolutely no leaks uh, the lines are all hooked up. Now, originally, I had told you that I was going to replace the um, rubber portion with uh, what I had bought. And I didn't because I had noticed that there's not enough room before um, where the pipe bends for me to fit that uh, fitting here, that nut, the AN nut. Um, there probably is a little bit more under this collar if I ground this off, uh, but I wasn't sure if that was going to be a problem or not, and I didn't want to grind that um, before knowing that. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just run this like it is um, until this starts leaking, uh, whenever that may be, because they're not leaking now. And... Um, like this fitting right here would be okay, uh, but this would be really close the distance here to have that nut on here. So, um, and these these lines are the lines for this application. And they fit perfect. So, but the main the main issue is uh, number one the gasket's fixed here, and number two this will never ever leak. Uh, well, I say never ever, but it's not going to, there's nothing, there's no plastic piece uh, or rubber o-ring for it to fail. So, uh, worst case scenario, let's say the line started leaking, take these lines off, go get uh, a brand new set of lines, cut the ends off like I did and put the AM fittings back on there and uh, we're good to go. So, um, yeah, I'm very pleased with the way this turned out. 
I hope you guys, if you've got one of these trucks, you'll consider doing something like this to, uh, this is to get rid of this weak spot. It's really, really, I can't believe GM did that, but anyway. And also just remember to use the proper gasket like I had explained before. Um, if and when I ever do replace, and I'm sure I probably will because these are old lines, uh, when I do that, then I will definitely uh, do an updated video and we'll do it together. This way I can actually mark because um, I've got the lines back on here and I know what I know what I would be doing. So I would go ahead and mark it and know where to cut it. So anyway, guys, I hope this video was helpful. Um, if you want to see more projects like this on uh, this truck, then just leave me a comment. There will be a lot more because I've got a lot more to do to it. With that being said, thank you for your viewership and subscribership, and I will talk to you on the next video.